Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we're back in Men of War on Assault Squad 2 and we finished the USA campaign, finishing off at Avalanche, fighting the Japanese, so therefore we're going to move on to the German one, and now these aren't really campaigns, they're more skirmishes, but they're still quite fun, they're quite similar when it comes to each of the campaigns, the only real difference is the units I use, but still... I want to do the German campaign just because I really enjoy the German troops. So anyway, here's Gazala, let's get in there. So we're going into Gazala, of course. Uh, after completing the American campaign, I was hungry for more Men of War. Uh, I thought about doing some multiplayer stuff, uh, which I probably will do in the future. There's a few of my uh, friends in the squadron for War Thunder actually play it, so... It would be nice to do that. The only issue with it is that uh, it seems to have quite horrible <laughs> FPS problems, and I don't really know why. Um, so if I can get that sorted out, then we should be in a good f uh, uh, best foot forward in a way. But anyway, let's get in there. Whoop. There we go. Oh no, they're charging us. All two of them. Oh no, there's four. And then there's some to the left, some to the right. It looks like they're coming forward. Oh, no, let me control the troops. I don't want this guy behind the sandbag. I want him in the front lines. I want him to fight. There's no pussies in my army. They all go forward. Look at this guy. This guy's a bit too far-fetched. He needs to definitely get in. The sandbag dude, come on. Brother. Get that uh, MP40 uh, glowing. Let's try and hit... As many people as we can. It looks like they are pushing forward at a great rate. Only a few soldiers at a time, so we should easily. We should easily be able to deal with them. That's exactly what's going on. We have a medic, which is wonderful because that means if we lose anybody, we can get them up. A mechanic which I love in Assault Squad 2, which was missing from the original Men of War, uh, which definitely made the original Men of War harder. Uh, whereas in this, if you have a medic, you're doing alright. So there's not really much to do at the start of this. Our troops are in a good position. Our AT rifleman should be able to hit this guy. Or he can just go crazy. Uh, brother, come on. There we go. Good stuff. So he's been hit, uh, I believe, by the AT and some machine guns as well. Taking basically everybody out. So there's also another Willy's Jeep coming forward. So... A wheel has been hit, the engine has also been hit. Well, how did that blow up? Well, it's gone anyway. This jeep is still alive, though. If it takes more shots, it's probably going to die. It looks like there's a dead Panzer IV here. Would have been nice to have it. Looks like a, an F-series, maybe an F-2. Or maybe a G, but uh, it looks like it has ceased to be. There is no uh, repairing that. We do have a supply truck, which is nice. We also have another dead tank over here, which looks like a H, a Panzer IV H. Because it has the ring around the turret. And that's basically how I can tell uh, that that's that. It looks like most of these troops have been gunned down. There's not a lot of them left. Hopefully we're doing okay on ammo. This truck has been absolutely bombarded with fire. And uh, these guys are just really laying down the pain with their rifles. What rifles do they have? Let's see. They have the Car 98, of course. So we have Car 98. MG42s, and of course the wonderful MP40, a gun which I really hold in high regard, just like the STG44, which has never really let me down in any game I've ever played in. Obviously in real life I've never been able to handle one, I'd love to, just to see the weight of it and its actual recoil, because in many games it doesn't seem to have much. And the thing is, um, I'm not sure if that's correct or not, because whenever I've seen it fired, or anything like that in movies, and so they were never really aiming down the sights with it. It was much more of a hip fire, or a shoulder fire, so what is that? That is a Bren carrier. Oh well, I'm sure it'll die soon. Uh, do we have... I believe we do have an AT guy somewhere. Where art, where art thou, sir? Ah, here he is. Right, shoot that in the face. And <laughs> look at that, one shot. Goodbye, son. Now, uh, it's probably right that you go back here. I believe I actually <laughs> clicked multiple people. So he was going to throw a grenade at this. Uh, not needed, though. And it looks like we can salvage that brain carrier if we want. HQ has sent his reinforcements, and for some reason I can't hear this guy. Uh, which is kind of a shame, because I kind of... I love the German accents in this game. But, uh, we've done well. 
been able to push forward. We have been given another squad, which is nice. We'll push that up with you. And uh, there's a, one guy just hovering over there. But what we want to do first is get these guys supplies. And uh, now the fog of war is disappearing. Yeah, it's uh, not very loud for some reason. But uh, I want to move up to this Brancarius to try and take it for our own. Uh, I think it will be a very useful thing to have. So we'll put our men there. We'll move up our armoured car to help out. Try and take out all the machine guns first. Looks like there are at least four of them. Two are dead. Uh, let's move on to this guy. Dude, you're shooting the wrong people, brother. And uh, how about you guys heal? It looks like you don't want to shoot today, which is a shame. Uh, we could do with you shooting, <laughs> but uh, if you don't feel like it, you don't feel like it. We do still have a medic here, so that's good. Get this guy up as soon as possible. And there we go, we've healed a fallen comrade. It looks like they don't want to shoot, though. Um, that is obviously up to them. They're entitled to not shoot if they don't want to, but I will say to them, uh, under my command, if you do not shoot well, you might as well kiss your ass goodbye. You're out of here. You'll be transferred. Looks like we're shooting at a guy behind a rock. He has a rifle, so not too worried about it. Looks like we also have an MG34 on this thing. Flippin' excellent. This is definitely a worrisome machine against infantry. We're repairing the brain carrier at the same time. That'll be able to uh, move some of our troops, which is nice. And basically what I want to do is move up to this, but we're not... We're not there yet, so we haven't cleared out enough of the troops, so there's still some left over here. But I tell you what, off we go, hey-ho. We're going to go forward anyway. With the cover of this, uh, we should be completely fine moving forward. There is a guy over here, though, that we do have to worry about. Wish I could see him. There he is. Can you shoot him? Lovely stuff. One shot, goodbye. Oh-ho-ho! -ho! Didn't see that until right at the last second. At least I didn't kill anybody. Let's get the second squad moving. Uh, we'll push him up to here, try and kill this dude at least, and uh, nobody died there. Uh, they got hurt, definitely, but they're not dead. Let's move this up. Where are we doing for ammunition? We're doing okay. 231, 700 MG, so we don't have to worry too much. This guy's under heavy fire, of course, from our squad, which just moved up. <laughs> and flippin' heck. Come on, pop your head up, son. Oh, if you just had more ammo... Goodbye, right? There's only one guy left around here. Uh, where is he? Is he behind this wall? Hmm. Oh, there he is. Can you shoot him? No. Uh, okay, so we'll move up our second squad. Something that we definitely need to do is probably peel off one of these guys and uh, bring up the supply truck so we can bring it up with us. And also, we'll move these guys up to here since they've... Oh, okay, okay. That's a grenade. Run away. Oh, we get out, we get out, we got out. Good stuff, right? So now we have the cover of the armoured car. We should be able to split people in half with this 20mm. Uh, we have shooting going across all of the galleries, which is wonderful. We'll move these guys up to here just to kill this guy and then move forward through the barren town which has been left by... Are these Americans, or are they British? They look British, and since we had a Bren carrier, I believe it is British. You're still repairing that, come on, son. Oh, get out, get out, get out. Ooh. Right, we have two down, which is fine. Uh, one is the medic, so we're going to have to move over this squad to try and help out. Move your asses, come on. Get the medic individually, trying to get these guys up. He looks like he's still alive. I don't know what's going on with him. Oh, there's somebody on top of him. That's an issue. A definite issue here. Come on, brother, move. Get him up. And you too. Move as well. But, oh, I didn't get to him in time because of stupid people stuck in their stupid ways. Unfortunately, we lost a man. Something which we will not take lightly in the German army. We need every man that we have. We need every piece of ammunition. We need everything that we can take from these disgusting pieces of shit. And, well, we haven't got it so far. We have a machine gun shooting at us, which is an issue. But we are shooting back. We're about to take this point. 
Uh, we could just move up, to be honest. Uh, we may lose a few men. Or hopefully we don't, but we might. And uh, we'll just get you guys to move to a much more secure position instead of behind some boxes. Oh, there's somebody in there. That's a shame. And he's moving. That was a terrible decision. <laughs> if he just stayed there, he could have done some real damage. But instead, he decided it was a bad idea and uh, he had to move. First line of defense is captured. Moving on to the second line shortly. See what we have. It looks like our men are actually doing pretty well in the uh, doing pretty well in the gaining ranks uh, side. So like accuracy, their uh, damage and stuff like that will increase. It looks like we've taken out some very pointless guns, which will be decent against my infantry. But that's really about it. Um. But it looks like they took out everything to kill my vehicle, so that's nice. We need to repair that vehicle. And we're given a Panzer III. Wonderful. Now, you sir, let's get in. We need two in here, I believe. Uh, one to drive, one to operate the gun. We don't really need to carry anybody else. Because we don't have any slackers in our army. Go on, son. Let's get on. And... This will be our third infantry squad. We've been given some supplies. How nice of them. Set up these guys. Set up a very aggressive position forward. And uh, all you boys. Yes, you. You go here to set up another aggressive position. But also, you can gain some ammo. So that's wonderful. Brain carrier. Hello. Don't run into that. Stay there for now. Uh, one of these troops. Anybody got a rifle? Yes, you do, sir. Well done. You have just been nominated to be the prime gunner on this. Oh, and the driver. Oh no, you do both. Okay, good stuff. Uh, so we have at our disposal a Panzer 3J, which will be okay, I suppose. Uh, there's nothing that we're really worrying about except a, da a, a Daimler. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? I believe so. Uh, so we'll put this guy forward to deal with that. Yeah, it's a Daimler. All right. Sorry about my pronunciation sometimes. I got a bit of steak for uh, calling the Blenheim the Blenheim, but the thing is I've always... It seems to fit my, you know, what I know is the English language, so... I don't know. I prefer Blenheim as well, it just sounds nicer. And I, I understand I'm wrong at that. <laughs> so, yeah, that's how that works. Uh, let's push forward once again. I mean, it seems like the troops on the left side have held out pretty well for the uh, British, but everybody else is definitely struggling. Let's give you some ammunition as you run past, and then... Can we get up here? No, we can only get below. That's a shame. But what we can do is send you over here to deal with some stragglers. That guy had an AT rifle. That was lucky. I think he missed. Uh, our third squad, which we were given, uh, shall go to the center, since they are probably the most healed and have the most ammunition. And uh, we'll push down the left flank with these guys, even though there isn't a lot of cover down here. We can still uh, cover them. And then we'll try to progress to here, and then push onto this. What we have for uh, guns and stuff to do with our tanks, well, there's nothing really there. So we don't really have to worry. There is an MG that we have to look at and definitely kill. So we'll move up the Panzer III to deal with that. Good shot. You missed. Try again, sir. Maybe stop firing AP. There we go. Load the HE. And fire. Oh, crap. Uh, what the hell is hitting him? Uh, get behind the tank. Is there something over there I'm not seeing? Enemy is ahead. Uh, maybe? Or is it, it can't be coming from all the way over here. No way, that's too far. Or is it that? It's probably that. Crap on a cracker, I think is the word to use for that. Shoot, my boy. Do you not have a shot? Uh, no. Going to have to move up a centimetre to actually have a shot. Maybe a bit more since we got the depression. And he bounced. <laughs> I 
we killed the house behind him. <laughs> oh my god, okay. So we've lost both our vehicles to a quarter pounder. Something that should not happen with a vehicle like that. But uh, that's kind of how it is. Uh, sir, get him up. He's under the vehicle. We cannot get him up. That's an issue. I suppose we do have the Bren carrier, so that's good. But it's not really going to do a lot for our cause, is it? Um, oh, Bren carrier. So we need to move forward with these troops uh, down the left flank. The idea of moving up these troops is to destroy anything that is on that quarter pounder, including the troops. Uh, it looks like we missed, so we need to try again. And there we go. We're in a good defensible position here. And ouch! Right in the jacksy. And again. Uh, we need to get these troops up ASAP so they don't just die. Or the one troop who died. Uh, let's also get you guys into here. Oh, come on, Jimmy. Get up. Who are you? Nope, you're dead. Okay. Uh, where the hell are you going? Medic! There's no time for dilly-dallying. It's a serious business. <laughs> Uh, the guy with hardly any health is uh, going forward. There's a machine gun over there that we have to worry about. And since we lost... Uh, he's dead. Oh my god, he's gone. 10 out of 10. Actually, no, 9 out of 10. Flip wasn't perfect. Didn't stick the landing. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to move forward. We dealt with the quarter pounder. It's kind of sad. The quarter pounder, the two pounder. It's kind of sad that the two pounder is good enough to kill my panzer three shows that the armor on this is absolutely dog pal uh, but we can move forward pretty soon as long as we deal with those machine guns we were able to get these two guys up which is wonderful and at the same time we should actually try and move forward with our other two areas of men uh, we do need to repair this so that's something we'll work on uh, let's just group you all together you guys are repairing how are you guys doing uh, well you it is your job to get that up and running. We can actually get the Bren carrier. Where is... What happened to the Bren carrier? Must have got shot by the two-pounder. Well, that's a shame. We lost another troop because of uh, silliness on my part, to be quite honest. And we are bogged down by this machine gun. Something that we wouldn't be bogged down for if I was a bit more clever and decided that... Uh, Decided that using. Let's just put these guys here. Decided that um, moving forward when there was a quarter pounder. Well, stop, I've got to stop saying quarter pounder, I'm thinking of the hamburger. Um, instead of uh, shooting at the two pounder, we decided to try and take out the infantry. And I thought that this tank here, this wonderful Panzer 4 RSG, was able to uh, kill us. Let's see if it's actually operational so it can help us in our plea to try and uh, get rid of all these people. Yes, it's only got its tracks damaged. Wonderful stuff. Hello, Jimmy. Goodbye, Jimmy. Nice to meet you. To meet you nice. So, let's get this repaired and up and running. We only need one man in it right now just to uh, shoot the gun, really, and the machine guns. Everybody else uh, doesn't need to be in that. Got its hull destroyed, so we don't have to worry about that. You need a crew of two, I believe. Something just got repaired. This vehicle did wonderful stuff. Uh, even though it was its turret that was repaired. So its uh, hull is still damaged. This needs two men. We have four here right now. Uh, you are the most useless. So you can stand there. Let's get you two. Uh, we'll move you with this squad. Just put you all together. Just to make it easier, you guys are there. Vehicle is repaired. What is this? Ah, the tank. The tank is getting repaired. Uh, let's try and group you all together. We can't, uh, which is a shame. Uh, repair and recover the damaged allied tank. Wonderful. Right, so this needs five men. That's four men for you. <laughs> I don't think you need a fifth. Uh, because there's no machine gun on top. Uh, we can try it, though. Let's have a look. Let's see. We've already got a guy stood on the side, right? We've got two stood on the side now. Come on, get down. Uh, we need you to fight, not to sit there. What are you? A lazy boy. As a British man, the assault squad leader decided it was a great idea to send his squad into definite doom, trying to push forward. And, 
Here we go. We now have basically two squads at our disposal. Everybody else is repairing stuff. This is now repaired, the armored car. So we can push that forward. You two, meet your new squad after your other squad was basically liquidated. <laughs> uh, because of loss of troop and loss of vehicle. This needs four men. So uh, two of you are definitely going to be uh, thrown to the dogs and put into that tank. It's going to be quite hot in there since we seem to be in Africa, but uh, at least you have that extra armor to keep you uh, nice and feeling good. Send these guys up here to try and stop anybody who wants to move forward. Tank is in a good position to cover the road. And hopefully it doesn't get shot. Uh, the armored car, I believe, will go down the other road. That seems like a good idea. And once this is operational, we'll bring it forward with these two men and we'll put two men of our infantry units inside uh, to help out. Panzer! Shoot! There is actually a guy to his right, which is quite worrying. But now we can bring in some units. Panzer 3 House J, completely useless. Don't even want you. You're not worth the salt that you were created upon. But anyway, we have this tank. It is now ready and raring to go. Let's push forward with this tank. Use this machine guns in tow. We actually have a medic in here. It's probably not the best idea. We will move out the medic ASAP. And there are some supplies for us when we need or want them. Where is this guy? What art thou? There you are. Right, Panzer IV. G. Your whole purpose is to kill this tank commander. He has been a prick and must die. Oh lord, he's seen he's seen the light. He said Oh Goodbye, sir. You ain't surviving that, sir. And now that we've taken this point, we'll just move up these guys to here. Scouts report an enemy tank defending the position. What was that? That seemed like a big explosion. Oh we have a Cromwell. Shoot the Cromwell in the face. Shoot the Cromwell in the face. We should be able to pierce its front armor, even with the Panzer III. And yes, the crew is injured. Crew is shot again. Big shots. There's another crew injured. There can't be many people left in there. And goodbye, good riddance. It has exploded. So we have these guys. Let's see who is well equipped to go into the tank. Basically nobody. Uh, so we'll chuck in the riflemen, who are probably the worst out of the bunch. Uh, you are out of ammunition. But uh, we did get a supply drop over here, so group, move back. Another thing we need to sort out is this medic needs to go back with his men. So he can keep them alive. And we'll replace him with a horty torty machine gunner. You boys, come on. Get in tow. Machine gunner, stop pissing about now. Get in the circle. Well done, there we go. Now get some ammunition. When these guys are done, what we'll do is we'll move up this infantry if <laughs> infantry lot to get some stuff for them. That is another tank. A bigger tank. Shot in the side, track is damaged. So now we can get a nice side shot on a Crusader AA. Oh, it's shit, it's an AA unit. Another track is damaged. Uh, what is that? Whatever it is, it's dead now. M5A1 trying to push forward. Terrible idea. Load that damn gun. How long does it take you? That AA vehicle can do a hell of a lot of damage to our troops, so I'm happy it didn't. The hull is damaged, so we can at least get it back. I was wrong. It took out basically one of our squads. <laughs> so, uh... Yeah. Move away from the deceased, please, so we can uh, get him up. There we go. Good stuff, right? These guys are back in action. Uh, do we have any other vehicles we have to worry about? It doesn't look like it. Even that gun there got taken out from the blast from the AA vehicle. Now, we can repair that if we need to. So we will. These guys are low on ammo, so they're also low on health as well, so it's definitely time to move them back. Uh, let's just turn you for now. And the machine guns, the MG-34s, are going to completely just ransack all these guys around here. The armored car is in a good position to flank. So, you know what? It's gonna flank. And we'll move around. Once these guys are healed, they'll get their ammo, they'll get the hell out. Uh, hopefully there aren't any guns up here. There is a gun right at the back at 118. They should be able to shoot us. Especially with the walls and stuff like that away. It seems to be on a bit of an incline. So we don't really have to worry about that. So the machine gun is firing, which is good for us. 
All this actually has is a machine gun, so we do need to bring up that supply truck at some point. It is right at the back, so... Hmm... Let's just bring in a sniper. The sniper can bring up the supply truck while he's coming up, and we can get some... Uh, get some shots for all of our guys. You guys get inside the circle. Uh, so you can load up. You guys, I believe, are already in the circle, but we might as well make sure. Hello, Sniper! Nice to see you, brother. Now these guys, because they're two-star, they're at 85 uh, efficiency. The reason they're at that is because, well, they're not actually trained tankmen. Uh, so even at 85% uh, percent efficiency, that's still pretty good for somebody who has only held a rifle for the whole of their lives. These guys are at 97, because at least two of them are tank crew, as we can see, so that's good. It would be nice to bring in some tank crew, but unfortunately we can't. Uh, let's just push this up. There's a guy to our right. Hiding somewhere. And we'll just put you there for now. Put up the Panzer 3J here. And the supply truck should be here soon, which is lovely. We'll put him on the main road. And uh, we'll bring the armed car back so we can get some shots. And you guys should be now full of ammunition, which it seems like you are, so that's good. Push forward to here. Uh, we'll get our other troops and push them to here, since there seems to be nobody left. We do still have that two-pounder right at the back, which definitely should be something to be feared. Oh, so there are still some guys left. Uh, which is fine, they'll be dead pretty soon. One, and not two. Two. There we go, lovely stuff. So now we can push up the tanks. No fear of grenades at all. And the armoured car decided it didn't want to work anymore. Come on, son. You don't... You haven't lost that much fuel. You're still 40, 40 in the back. That's some good shooting from the guns and the German army in general. You've killed two. Well done, Wilhelm Nagel. Uh, how many have you killed? Two. Radolf. Ten? From Benjamin Altman. Look at this guy. He's a veteran. Rudolf Frank has got four. Paul, whatever the hell, has two because he uh, two vehicle kills because he's the AT rifleman. Well done, Paul uh, Wechsler. You are a monument to our men to push forward for the glory of the fatherland. Uh, looks like you don't have any belts. Well, this is now a machine gun platform, <laughs> which is completely fine, and we also have a sniper. So, uh, that's always good for business. He's also gaining ammunition, so just stay there for now. We don't want you out of the battle as soon as you get in this, because you don't have enough ammunition. Uh, we'll push up these guys to here. Seems like quite a nice little position. Uh, quarter pound... Uh... Is that the only one? It looks like it. It looks like we took out everything else. That's lovely. Uh, we'll move up the tank to here to try and deal with those guys. Uh, the two-pounder is actually firing, it seems. If you take out that guy, then we can move up. Yeah. There's a lot of shots going in the center there, I believe, mainly from our tanks. Uh, where is the sniper nowadays? Oh, of course, you're picking up ammo. Well done, son. Right, get there. Uh, tank. Shoot that machine gunner, would you? Good enough. Try again. <laughs> God, those sandbags are high. Good shot. Well done, whoever that was. Uh, hello, sniper. It's your time to shine, brother. Uh, heal. Heal if you can. Smoke if you've got any. And let's move forward. Let's push these guys to the next wall. And uh, the next real thing to do with is this. Let's see if we can shoot us. We're actually in a uh, combat range of 93.3 uh, meters, I believe that is. Good shot, right? So that's out of action. All we have to do is deal with infantry now. This guy's already out of ammunition. What the hell have you been doing, son? Oh, you're a bloody machine gunner, that's why. It's been rattling through that ammo just like I rattle through girlfriends. It's horrible. But anyway, we're moving forward. The, the sniper is doing a decent job of trying to kill stuff. Uh, he is slowly but surely killing. He is now up to five. Definitely a worthy purchase. 
And at the same time, this machine gunner will bring up the supply truck, meaning that we can supply everybody, especially himself, and then we can move forward uh, to take this point, which should be quite easy to do. Come on. Hi ho! It's actually better to bring the supply truck to people instead of uh, them to it, just because of positioning and stuff. I just find it a lot easier. So uh, we'll resupply these guys first. Hello! Uh, you can stop now. As you can see, they're all getting resupplied. At the same time, we'll use our machine gun platform uh, to try and kill any troops that we have. Uh, sniper riflemen can actually move forward as well, uh, just to cover. And when these guys are done, we'll push the supply truck over here and then take out the um, take out the machine gunner, so then he can be resupplied. Seems like a good idea. So why the hell not? Uh, so you guys are now supplied. We'll push you up to here to deal with anybody down here since there seems to be at least a few who are daring enough to try and stop the might of the German army moving forward. Uh, it's a few guys, it seems, in this house, uh, which is a bit of a shame. But um, we can easily deal with them when we need to. Machine gunner is once again firing. You guys are getting respined, which is lovely. And, uh, that <laughs> the left side of the map just got very, very quiet since we just killed everybody. Uh, we'll push you up. We'll also push you up. Obviously in grenade range, which is terrible. But, uh, at least these guys are all pinned down, so there's not a lot we can really do. Uh, also, machine gunner. Let's get you out for now. Just so you can get resupplied and everything like that. Actually contribute to the battle instead of just sitting on your ass. Let's move up the sniper to about here. Should be able to snipe at least somebody. Uh, can we shoot him? No. Uh, there's a few over here, so let's just shoot him in the head. Goodbye. Uh, we'll move you over to here, so we can shoot that guy through the window. Actually, no. You know what? we we'll teach this guy a lesson. You're not safe. <laughs> ha! Goodbye. <laughs> oh lord uh, let's get this squad which is our main squad moving forward and uh, we'll just sit around with our sniper, that that was terrible I feel kind of bad for that guy uh, there wasn't a lot you could really do, oh don't stand up terrible move on your part uh, so it's most of these guys cleared out I believe there are a few left in the house there's a guy to the left here but uh, I'm sure they'll move forward when they want to. Put these guys here. Uh, there's actually a dude just hid in a bush. So um, just grenade his ass so he moves. And if he doesn't move, well, he dies from a grenade. Hopefully. Can you get over this wall? Wonderful stuff. Lovely toss. Definitely should have thrown the javelin in high school if that's the type of toss he can do. And 70%. So I'm guessing we're going to have to defend this place. Oh lord. Set up defenses. Sir, yes sir. That's exactly what I'll do. Erstaunlich. Erstaunlich to you too. Uh, let's see. We're going to be coming from over there. So we set up tanks uh, at a forward position. Looks... Oops. Didn't mean to get you in that. We'll just put you up here. These machine guns are in terrible places. I wish they were much further up. Um, if that armored car would move its ass, oh no, the, the the troops are moving with us. That's definitely not good for business. We have a few machine gunners and stuff who have left who have been left behind. Uh, we'll set them up there. Sniper needs to get into a decent position at least. Uh, can we put him on a roof somewhere maybe behind a box? Uh, yeah, you can go here, I suppose. It's a decent little position for a sniper. And. Um, no! Why are you why are you like that? Stop being like that. We need to get you into defensible positions. And also get some panzer grenadiers in to help with the defense. Uh, and uh, the up there we go. Right, you guys get back over there. Including you. No slackers in this army. And uh, let's get you into a better position to hold that. You are really a machine gunner, so you're not really gonna help a loss. Uh 
And uh, you should definitely move back to about here. Or there. Uh, where did the resupply thing go? There it is. Right, so let's see what we have in here. We have tons of mines and sandbags. That's wonderful stuff, right? So you guys move up. I'm going to mine this entire area, or at least the front of us. We have a minute to do it, so good luck and Godspeed. We have the Panzer Grenadiers here. Uh, we have one sandbag with them. Uh, would have been nice to have a few more, uh, to be honest. But it wasn't to be. Support units. Uh, we can get a Pack 36 or a Flak 38. Flak 38 all day, every day to deal with that. And we can bring in a Panzer 4G, so we'll do that too. Our majority of our forces will be spread about, of course. Uh, let's get you three, five. Yep, five. Five will do. And we'll put them here. You four to here. Once these guys are done with the mines, which seems to be already, uh, we'll actually mine the main road with AT mines. Uh, then we'll bring them back. Well done, Panzer Grenadier. Done your job very well there. Uh, do, do, do. I'm trying to get them into a position where they won't just get mauled instantly. Uh, so we'll put this here. I should sort that out. Sir, I'm prepared. Apart from the sniper. I have now decided that sniper's in a terrible position, so move over here. And hopefully not get shot out of the window. Hopefully he's not seen. Come on, sons. You're nearly done. There we go. Right, move back. Uh, you have two mines. Place them there. Uh, there we go. They're moving in from this side. Flak should be there. Momentarily sorting that out. We also have this, which will help us out from there. Uh, you are in a good position to hold. We'll just stick you right here. Oh, you destroyed the sandbags. That's not what we wanted. Uh, Panzer is in a decent position. We have this guy in reserve as well if we need him. Uh, you boys have done a very good job at putting them down. We'll also put some sandbags here. Just to cover that. And then you guys move over to the right. And we'll put the Panzer Grenadiers behind there. We have a Bren carrier coming in. Or at least we did. And now he's dead. <laughs> Uh, he did a good job, though. He he got about eh, 20 feet. That's much more than the other Bren carrier did. So I uh, just, you know, hold that in mind. <laughs> Sandbags are ready, so we'll move these guys over to there. Panzer Grenadiers, it is your time to shine. Push forward and hold this point. What we can also bring in is another Panzer Grenadier squad. If we need them, we can also bring in any of these. Uh, but right now, I think we're in a good position just to hold. We'll just wait for the onslaught of the enemy. We have a Valentine moving forward, ladies and gentlemen. An annoying as ass thing to kill, so we'll load APCR. Uh, let's see. Track is damaged, good enough. Move back since, uh, well, there was some infantry coming, but the, uh, the flag gun definitely dealt with them. Uh, we also have this FG here. Now, FG. Bull is dead. Well done. So the F, uh, the, F the FG, the Panzer 4G can shoot down there, so that's very good for business. Uh, good shot. You hit the wall. Try again. You're not even moving. How the hell? Uh, you missed again. Come on. You're better than this. Fire. You're gonna have to move up a bit, aren't you? Oh, he's hit him, but he didn't do anything. That Matilda is definitely not going down anytime soon. Oh, it's just bouncing shots like a madman. You're looking at about 78 armor on that thing on the front. Probably about 60 on the sides, 20 on the ass. So if we shoot it in the ass, it shouldn't really do anything. There's a Willy's B coming in. He's going for king and country, and he's... Oh, Lord, that's dead. Ah, uh, okay. We need to deal with that Matilda right now. Forward ho. Pull is damaged. Good stuff. Move back. Get up. Get up. It's only the gun that's hurt. Come on, boys. Go. Right, definitely time to repair this. And uh, everybody else is holding strong. The Panzer Grenadiers haven't really had to deal with anything. A few of the mines have gone off, uh, but nothing massive. A Valentine is coming in from the right, something we have to worry about. Just push you back so you're much more straight, so if you get shot by this, uh, you're still in a good position. Bounce. Try again. Come on. Uh, why aren't you firing? And this is back up, so that's good. That should still be able to cover uh, this vehicle. What I'm going to do is move this Panzer 4G over here, just because it seems like 
uh, it needs to be in a position to shoot these tanks. Our, our Panzer III is, uh, well, uh, it's not really penning anything. It's, it's bouncing a lot of shots. Are you firing HG at that boy? No, you're firing AP. Good stuff. And he shot the Bren carrier by accident. Well, we've had a story of three bang ca Bren carriers today, and all of them have ended in tears for the Bren carrier. Maybe, maybe this shows the Bren carrier is not the best choice for uh, something to push forward in. Uh, load APCR. Oh, it blew up. Good stuff. Alright, so we'll actually put the Panzer 4 G here. Uh, the center is now covered by nothing, really, apart from infantry, but good thing is they're sending only infantry into the center. We have approximately six, just less than six minutes to hold out, and all they're throwing at us is infantry right now, so I'm not too worried about that. Uh... As long as this flat gun can keep covering this side, we should be completely fine. And uh, HE shell just exploded somebody. They uh, definitely weren't long for this world. This guy is not really hard to do a lot, but uh, I thought, you know, the tanks would come down the main road. I was obviously completely wrong. They have decided to go from uh, a more uh, route from the east, but uh, that's uh, northeast, sorry. That's definitely their prerogative. I'm not saying it's the right prerogative, but it is theirs. Uh, so, yeah. Unfortunate for them. Flag gun is still shooting its heart out, killing as many men as it wants. 38 kills, including a vehicle. I mean, come on, that's... That's just crazy talk. Looks like they're sending in some more tanks, uh, which is fine. We we'll have to deal with them without much trouble. The armoured vehicle. The wonderful uh, Dame Daimler has decided to shoot one of our tanks. Pull is damaged. Uh, you can't shoot that. Can you shoot this? Oh, no. He took out our flat gun. What a jacksy. Let's bring in a bigger gun. <laughs> because you, Screw you, that's why. <laughs> Machine Gunner has once again run out of ammunition because, well, he doesn't seem to like the idea of holding on to ammunition. This guy shoots this, hey? See this? The big fat guy in front of you? Good stuff. My god. Right, okay, get back. Where's the pack? Come on, brother. Let's get it in there. Pack 38. 50 millimeter. Move forward. Uh, we'll put it right in the center, of course, uh, just to give us cover from the center. From the right, they are chucking a lot of stuff at us, but we are at least hurting them. Crew is injured on this boy. Uh, since it looks like they threw a rock at him, but uh, he didn't lose anybody, which is interesting. We're going to repair this vehicle just in case we need to move it. The only guy who's left it, it looks like, is the gunner. Why the hell would the gunner leave? Hmm. Track is damaged on that. How about we shoot us again? He's trying to shoot the guy repairing your vehicle, sir. Kill this man. There we go. My god. Right, but anyway, the Pack 38 is here to give us additional support against any of these... Marauding vehicles, good shot, you missed, try again. Fire! And plinky plonky, deady weddy, that's what we like to see. It looks like we have another vehicle coming in from the right. Looks like a bloody howitzer. That's not good. <laughs> Could you please kill the tanks? You are tanks. Focus on the tanks. Oh god, he's only got HE left. Okay, what have you got? You've got 44 AP shells. Shoot that damn Cromwell in the face. Um, I don't know what you did, but you didn't kill it. <laughs> Try again, sir. Uh, shoot at this. Reinforcements are alive. Uh, will come at 2 minutes 40. You're out of ammunition. Again. Machine gunner, my god, come on. Alright, so we're repairing this vehicle. It looks like the engine is damaged. And uh, the howitzers are doing work. Hull is damaged. We've lost this vehicle. Uh, which is fine. We don't really need it right now, we'll just push up. Come on, boys. We lost a man as well. We must have got hit by the shell. That's definitely not good for business. Uh, these Cromwells are definitely putting a dent in everything. But, uh, let's just get you out. And uh, you can repair this. Looks like that Cromwell is dead after a very, very long time. Which is nice. Uh, let's just shoot this with a HE shell. Hopefully we'll be able to kill it. Oh, come on. You're better than this. Oh, right in the face. <laughs> Didn't do anything. There we go, that's what we like to see. Two tracks are damaged. And uh, it looks like the 
fire from the howitzers is definitely not letting up. That's a real issue. But the crew is injured on that howitzer, so uh, we shouldn't... Actually, no, keep shooting that, keep shooting that. Uh, it's not dead yet. It's definitely dead now. More Cromwells are coming in, including another howitzer. Uh, and, well, we buy that vehicle, I suppose. Can we bring in any more armored units? We can bring in a Panzer III Aus J. Completely useless to us right now, so there's no real point in that. Get back on this gun, sir! We have Cromwells up the wazoo! We need you! Uh, finally, this Panzer IV Aus J is getting some action, attacking these guys who decided to use the road. Who are obviously cleverer than their, than their counterparts. This Pack 38 is getting absolutely ramjacked up the arse by uh, Cromwells. And uh, a medic is in town. So uh, let's get the medic getting people up. And uh, back on this gun. And uh, these guys, just get back here. Good stuff, right, so the gun is now firing once again. Which is what we want. Everybody else is doing an okay at uh, doing well. The reinforcements are almost here. They bloody better be because there's a Cromwell right up my jacksy and I don't like it. But if he moves around this corner, he will be dead. On this side, we have nothing covering it. <laughs> uh, it looks like our Panzer 3J died at some point. And these guys are out of ammunition. Run away! Uh, here are our reinforcements. There's not a lot of them, but there's a decent. There's enough of an amount to kill everything. Uh, the HQ has been successfully defended. Well done, boys. 591 men killed, 34 vehicles. We only lost 31 men and 4 vehicles, including about the same tank like 3 times. Look at them run away. Run. Be scared of the German army. Look at them all coming through. Some Panzer 4 Gs, some Panzer 3 Js. They're doing a great, great service at saving my men who fought so valiantly during this battle. But anyway, cheers, and I'll catch you next time.